Hello and welcome to the Album Man. I have finally decided to return. So as my intro sort of said, for those of you who have been wondering, I have been rather busy at university in London, etc, etc, and for you know, one reason or another, I really have not had too many opportunities to make videos over the last year. But to be honest, I have really missed doing this. Uh, I've missed interacting with everyone, making videos, all of all of that type of thing, and I felt it's it's time to return. I think that, you know, while YouTube has certainly changed quite a bit, I feel, in the time that I've been gone, I still think I have something to offer to the reviewing community. So if you'll kindly have me back, I would love to make some more videos for all of you. So a couple of things that I need to address which have happened since my absence which just need to be mentioned. So of course the obvious is the, you know, I have to mention the deaths of Lemmy Kilmeister, David Bowie, Keith Emerson, three of my heroes. I really can't understate how much their deaths meant to me and how much what their lives, more importantly, still mean to me. They were wonderfully talented people, and 2016 has been a terribly, terribly sad year. On a more positive note, obviously Guns N' Roses reformed. That's just... Oh god, is that so unbelievably wonderful. Please, please play the UK. I'm hoping they're going to play Download Festival, personally, you know, Donington's classic festival, and that would be awesome. And also, I did actually get to see Richie Blackmore's Rainbow the other night in Birmingham, the final of his three Rainbow shows, the first time he's played rock music, damn, since the early 1990s, to be honest, back from the last Rainbow album, yeah, early 90s, Strangers, and there's an all law sign with Doogie White. Yeah, you know, it's, it's been a while since Rainbow been great, but let me tell you, they were on top form, fantastic band, marvellous stuff, but, you know, maybe I'll do a concert review of that. At the end of the day, I just mainly want to talk about what type of videos, I suppose, that I want to now make on my channel. So, of course, it should be a given that album reviews, I mean, primarily, my bread and butter has always been album reviews, that's, well, yeah, that's, that's why I made my very, very small name doing, and I'm sure most of you found me through my various album reviews. And then other mainstay series will be returning, CDs and vinyl I bought recently, of course, that's my monthly pickup series, that's a, a given. On the discography fronts, the ACDC discography, some of you may remember, I started back in 2014, and that's dead. I'm not going to finish that, I cannot be bothered. The Brian Johnson arms after that point, I'm going to be honest, they get boring as hell, and I have absolutely nothing to say about them. The Beatles discography, on the other hand, which I know far, far more people have been anticipating conclusion of, that is going to continue. Abbey Road, let it be. I started this thing in 2013. It has got to be finished. I promised myself I certainly would, would never leave YouTube until that discography is done. Not to say I necessarily will when it is, but you know, I think you get what I mean. And there's other series I'm going to experiment around with, some stuff I might bring back, see if it you know, is still still relevant. So things like Trolling the Trolls, which is a, well, a non-music related segment, that's just a bit of fun, poking fun at some dumb idiots who comment on my uh, YouTube channel that are very, very hateful. And then other series I may continue, kind of, well, okay, Rock Tales which I was doing this series called Metal Origins, looking at the origins of heavy metal music. I would like to finish that. I don't know if I'll ever do anything more in the Rock Tales series. I think after Metal Origins, it'll certainly be, that series will be on an extended hiatus, let's just put it that way. Instead, another type of series which I really want to um, give, uh, well, you know, try my hands at, I suppose, a guide. I want to try and do some guides for bands, or maybe even subgenres or scenes, but I'm not quite sure about the latter. But certainly when it comes to bands, these will be sort of consumer guides, I suppose. So take a band, for example, Led Zeppelin. Go through their albums, say which albums I think that, you know, you should own, what's good, what's bad, etc. That type of thing. I'm going to give it a go, probably Radiohead, they're going to be the first band I'm going to try it with, just to test out the format, get a general reaction to it. If people like it, then I'll do more, and of course people can request whatever bands they would like me to uh, cover. Other series I'd like to bring back are Rock Art, this is looking at some of the greatest and dodgiest and worst album covers in rock's history, the stories behind them. I've always thought that was quite an interesting topic of why hate. 
which is a series looking at notoriously terrible albums and wondering well, whether the hatred is actually justified of those albums. And then just in another couple of series I might try out, you just have to wait and see. So uh, yeah, it's been a very, very long time since I have made a video. You can probably see I am a little rusty, certainly. Uh, that's, that's probably a given. But I would certainly like to apologise for my abrupt um, a hiatus, certainly, and I, I cannot give a definite time frame exactly how long I'm making videos for, but honestly, I would like to keep doing this. I, I certainly have decided I, I would like to continue. I always enjoyed this channel, and it has been sad seeing it fade away over, well, since, since August. I think my last video was uh, my review of Motorhead's Bad Magic, and of course, I suppose it's kind of not sadly fitting that the final video on my channel was the final album from the, the great legend himself, Lenny Kilmeister. Yes, yeah, so, you know, the future's always uncertain, but I'd like to give this a go. I'd like to give this another shot. As I said before, if you have me back, I'm happy to be of service. This has been The Album Man, and for the first time in a very, very long time, long live rock and roll.